Today in Minecraft, we opened our own construction company, and I'm the engineer. And I'm the architect. Melon, our client has a budget of only one dollar. All right, let's make this the best one dollar house ever. Well, Melon, at least we tried. I personally think the dirt subscribe button is the best part. Press it right now. Please, we're so close to 500,000 subscribers. I'm so proud of us. We finally did it. Our own construction company. Bro, it's so awesome. So just so the viewers know, I'm in charge of design. And I'm in charge of the structural integrity. So basically making sure the builds work. Dude, I'm an architect. That's so awesome. Hold on a second. Do you hear that, Sonny? Hear what? Our first client, Sonny. Hank's on the line. We've got to do a good job if we want to get an excellent five-star review. Let's go. Where's Hank? Hank, Hank, Hank. There he is. There he is, Melon. I see him. It's Hank. Um, Hank looks a little bit sketchy, Sonny. Uh, hey there, Hank. We're here to help you construct your brand new house. Ah, uh, yes. Hello. I'm glad to see you. I was looking for something affordable for my new house. Yeah, sure, Hank. What are you thinking your budget's gonna be? Oh, yeah. Let me look at my wallet here. Um, I have about one dollar uh just a moment hank melon melon come over here this guy is offering us one dollar i don't even know how he afforded the lot sonny i don't i don't even know if this is his lot i think he's a squatter uh well it, it doesn't matter sonny a client's a client and we gotta get our names out there maybe he has some kind of connections you're right bro we need that five star review so we can't mess this up yeah hank we'll do the job for one dollar that's fantastic i'm going to go back in front of a gas station and maybe i can get another dollar to add to the budget sonny we gotta do some brainstorming how in the heck are we gonna build a house with one dollar carefully melon very carefully by smacking up all of his grass we're gonna use this because dirt is a resource that's free of charge in minecraft so if we collect enough of this grass we should be able to construct an epic house dude you're actually a genius starting where it's free the ground sonny now that we've dug out a ton of dirt we can use use it to construct his house okay so i'm thinking we should fuse it in with these birch trees so that he's got a good structural integrity to it sonny that's why you're the structural integral yes exactly i'll make sure this place is sturdy and minecraft approved even though you can just do this in minecraft we're not going to question it and sonny i'll work on the design i'm thinking a nice dirt path to accompany this dirt hole and maybe this path leads to a dirt house in this dirt hole wow you're actually a genius man a five-star genius. I'd say we've done a pretty good job, Melon, considering the $1 budget. Hank, how do you like your new house? This is a good start, but I would like it to look a bit more like a real house. Right now, it's just a pile of dirt. Are you insulting my design? No, Melon, don't argue with the customer. The client is always right. Uh, Hank, so how can we improve this thing? Just uh, bear in mind, you only have $1. There's gotta be something you boys can do to spruce this place up. Right now, it feels a little little bit sad. Well, Hank, you gave us a $1 budget. <sighs> we'll see what we can do. You're right. You are the customer. Sonny, I have an idea to improve the design. Okay. What are we going to do? Follow me, Sonny. Follow me. So, Sonny, you see this house right here? It has a beautiful architectural design. Yeah, it's made of bricks, like an actual house. Now, Sonny, 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 I just need you to trust me here. Go up and pretend you're a door-to-door -door salesman, all right? Sell him this dirt. Oh, I could do that, bro. I got a lot of dirt. Maybe I can get more than one dollar. <laughs> Check this out. Yes. And guys, while Sonny does that, I'm gonna be a little bit mischievous. Hi there, Steve. I'm your local dirt salesman. How many pieces can I interest you in today? How about three, four, a stack of 64? Wait, maybe more. Hold on, open the other door. That's a lot of dirt. And I rhymed a lot, so you should pay me. Sir, why are you throwing litter into my house? I didn't ask for this. Oh, Steve, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll clean it up for $5. Yeah, sure, whatever. Yo, I might be the best door-to-door -door salesman of all time. Guys, guys, I need to collect all the materials from the back of his house. Yes, 
Yes, we can use these to make the house for Hank. Get a five-star review. So, Steve, are you sure I can't interest you in some of my fine dirt blocks? Ah, oh, guys, what is Melon doing back there? He's destroying Steve's house. I don't want to be his accomplice. This was a heist. Uh, uh, Steve, don't look. Steve, don't look. No, no, Steve over here. Yeah, Steve, uh, dirt. Yes, you wanted more dirt for your house. I got you, bro. I got you. Lots of dirt decorations. And don't worry, these ones are free. Gotta go. And guys, I've got to loot him too. I've got to loot him. Give me all this stuff. Yes, this will look great for Hank's house. Is there another chest somewhere? I just got a tiptoe. There's one more. There's one more. Give me the chest. Oh, there's nothing in here. I got a dip. Yo, Sonny. Melon, I can't believe you made me an accomplice to your crimes. We've got some building materials now, Sonny. <laughs> and you know what that means. We build a facade on the front of Hank's house to trick him into thinking he's got a really awesome home, but he doesn't? Exactly! Let's go. Uh, but give me the blocks. I'm the designer. Yeah, but Melon, isn't this more structural because it's on the outside of the house? No, it's, it's literally a facade, Sonny. Oh, you're right. It's only cosmetic. My bad. Then why'd you give me them in the first place? I just wanted to show off the blocks, bro. And done. Wow, Melon, that actually looks really good. Isn't it beautiful, Sonny? I wonder what Hank thinks. Oh, wow, that looks really good, bro, but can you please add a swimming pool? Are you kidding me? You have a $1 budget! Can you just give us the review already? Five stars. Very polite. Great to work with. That's all we want from you. Well, right now it's just three stars, but if you added that swimming pool, I would give you 5.5 stars. Deal? Oh, Melon, we have no choice. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to the warehouse. <sighs> Hank, you suck. Guys, we don't have much in our inventory, but thankfully in this big empty room, we've got water. Now, Melon, for this swimming pool, I think we're gonna need an infinite water source. Oh, we're definitely gonna need that, Sonny. You're a genius. I know. I know. And then we just gotta take this and uh, let's just flood his entire place. Yep, Sonny. I leave that to the structural engineer. Oh, thanks. You give me the fun job, I see. Yep, I got you. Melon, in the meantime, time, why don't you go spend his $1 budget? Maybe get him uh, some toilet paper so he can wipe his butt. Yeah, he definitely looks like the kind of guy that doesn't wipe. Uh, Hank, I'm gonna get you some toilet paper, alright? Sonny, I got the toilet paper, bro! Dude, you already filled everything up! Yep, just finished making the pool. All that's left to do is a little bit of interior design, which I'm gonna leave up entirely to you. Yeah, we've got a lot of work to do, Sonny, and you can't have toilet paper without toilet. Yeah, this is where I leave. Have fun. How am I gonna decorate his house with no more budget? I'm gonna have to look for a lot of free stuff. Time to take a stroll through town. Come on, there's gotta be some free stuff somewhere. Melon, are you finished here yet? Yep, it's all finished up, Sonny. Check it out! Bro, this place is crazy. How did you pull this off for one dollar? Um, well, actually, everything you see in here, Sonny, is free. Except for this toilet paper. That cost one dollar. You're telling me you found an old nasty toilet and then plugged it into... Dude, is this a shower head? Yeah, I, I kind of wish you were here for this because this might not be structurally Intel Goodwill. Dude, this is very structurally sound. You're actually being eco-friendly, too. You're siphoning the water from his pool, putting it into the toilet so he can shower and poo at the same time. Yeah, bro, it's awesome. Everything here is used. This is a used toilet. This is a used washing machine. This is a used bucket. This is a McDonald's fridge. This is an Ikea drawer they were throwing out. Melon, you stole this refrigerator from McDonald's. No, they were leaving it out. Melon, inside of the McDonald's, they left it out. So I took it. Whoa, you even got a TV. This is awesome. Yep, uh, it doesn't work though. And Sonny, the reason I had to spend all the money on toilet paper is because you can't actually get used toilet paper. It's pretty gross. Yeah, bro, that would be a major health concern if you had used toilet paper. I think it's done. And I think Hank will give us five stars. Hank, your house is complete, bro. Check it out! What do you think, buddy? Wow, you guys really outdid yourselves. If I could, I would give you 10 stars. Yes! A perfect review, Melon! I think our construction company's gonna blow up in no time. No way, Sonny. We already got another client! Hey there, Jenny. You called Sonny and Melon's construction company, and we're here ready to work. That's awesome. I have a budget of around $100,000 to work with. Oh, thank goodness. Melon, she actually has money. 
Oh, thank goodness, bro. I did not want to make another dirt house. Me neither. It's time we move up in the world and start to construct magnificent beauties. So, what do you want out of this house? I want something cozy and modern, but also not too big, so it's easier to clean and maintain. That sounds good. That sounds good. Sunny, I finally get to do an awesome design! High five! Let's go! I'll start with the outside, though, so we have a good structure and foundation to work with. All right, Sunny, I'll leave you to it. Okay, so let's start the framework right around here. Gonna need a lot of scaffolding for this build. Yep, couple more blocks. Just want to get the house layout completed, you know? Yep, uh, yep, Sonny, any day now. Any day now. Dude, relax, I'm getting there. That's it, bro. I'm hiring some iron golems. You're way too slow. Bro, what do you mean? I'm just being detail-oriented and thorough. Sonny, it's too late. They're here. Wait, Melon, bro. Oh, fine. You know what? I'm just gonna go relax back at headquarters. I'll let you handle this one. Sonny, that's a great idea. Let's go and play some video games. Actually, Melon, come to think of it, you you hiring these iron golems is perfect. That's how all great construction companies work. The guys at the top, <coughs> aka you and me as the business owners, we don't actually have to do anything. Isn't it awesome? Oh, Melon, I'm smoking you in Barry's prison run. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, bro. Hold on. I just got a notification from the golems. They're done. That was really quick, bro. Yeah, bro, they work quite efficiently. Well, let's go check out what they've built and collect that paycheck. Ooh. Yeah. They better have followed my instructions precisely, or else they're getting fired! Melon, calm down. It's beautiful, Sonny. They've done magic. You wanna really call this magic? It's way bigger than she wanted, and you can't even access the house without climbing up a ladder. What are you gonna claim, that this is for security purposes? No, 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 that was part of your plan, bro. You wanted this foundation like that. What? Dude, I wasn't building it this high up. What are you talking about? No, 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 Sonny, Sonny, you did this. You you did this. Whatever, fine. Check it out, Sonny. I even created a nice, sleek glass door entrance. Yeah, Melon, there's no privacy in this house whatsoever. People can walk by and see straight through the front door. No, it's pretty cool, Sonny. Come on, just give it a chance. It's not about what I want. It's about what the client wants. And Jenny asked for something not too big and a little bit modern. This is like a futuristic house. Who the heck has a glass door like this? Um, I would want a glass door like that. And check it out, Sonny. It even has a melon farm. Isn't that so cool? Bro, this is supposed to be her garage where she parks her car. No, 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 no. It's supposed to be a melon farm patch. Dude, I feel like I'm in a grocery store. I literally come through automatic glass doors into a melon farm. I feel like I'm at the fruit market. Don't insult my work. Now, Sonny, check out this sleek kitchen. modern -y, yet still homey. Oak wood design, pan stainless steel, micro wave. Whoa, bro. Credit where credit's due. Your iron golems really outdone themselves. Is this really your blueprint? Did you set this up? Yeah, it is my blueprint, bro. Check it out. I'm even one step ahead of the curve. A kitchen table with seats that are toilet seats so you can poop while you eat. Melon, this might just be the most genius thing you've ever done. Bro, I could sit here. I don't have to go to the bathroom when I'm at dinner. Bro, this is gonna be awesome. And then, Sonny, the peak of everything the peak of life the ultimate gaming tv setup bro are you serious a couch so sleek with a tv on every corner one with xbox playstation nintendo switch and this one just for youtube bro it couldn't get any better uh but melon where are the bedrooms uh, they're all upstairs sonny which you have yet to check out this is the best part look it's even handicap friendly we've got a nice little walk up here wait melon melon they're not all upstairs. Why is there a bedroom underneath the staircase? What is this, Harry Potter? Oh, yeah, that's, uh, this, that's, um, I, I don't know. There was just extra space, so I figured I'd put two beds here. Melon, there's literally grass and mold growing in this bedroom. I think it looks nice, all right? Fine. Maybe, maybe it wasn't my best choice, okay? Bro, whatever. I'm just gonna pretend it's not here. No, Sonny, let me show you the upstairs. Okay. Bro, why is there a giant slide coming downstairs? Bro, Actually, this was intended to be a ramp, so it's handicap friendly. But you're right, it's also a slide! 
Bro, making this was actually really smart and kind of you. It's good for old people, too. Now, Sonny, I want to show you the only bathroom in the whole house that we have. There's only one? Yeah, I mean, I mean, unless you count the kitchen table, but uh, it's in here. Check it out. It's an aquarium toilet, so you could poop everywhere and also in the toilet and drown. <sighs> Guys, this is really what I have to deal with. Why, Melon? This makes no sense. And if you want to get to the gaming setup, you got to get a little wet first because you got to go through the aquarium. Bro, this is dangerous. This is not up to code. No one's going to insure this house. Um, uh... Whew, you, you probably should have, um, yeah, it's somehow your fault, because that, that's your department. Well, at least there is a cool gaming setup out here. But what if it rains? This computer's gonna get destroyed! That's why you're in the fundamental logistics department. Oh, no. Uh, Sonny? Sonny, you gotta fix this, bro! This is your department! It's not my department! I'm not in charge of gaming computers outside! Melon, this is literally your fault. Bro, how is this my fault? Plus, it's waterproof, man. No! Oh! Melon, Melon, I'm done. I'm done. I'm going back inside. Dude, the aquarium broke too. Uh, this isn't great, Sonny. This is not looking great. Yeah, let me see what else you put in this house. Okay, nothing on this balcony. Oh, there is a little barbecue. That's nice. And then a library. And what's over here? No, you don't need to. You don't need to go in there, so Sonny. Sonny. Melon. The master bedroom is unfinished. Why would the iron golems tell you the house is ready? So uh, we kind of spent ninety nine thousand dollars on the aquarium, Sonny and we didn't have any more budget to finish the house. Bro, you really think our customer is gonna be happy that you made a toilet aquarium, but not their master bedroom? I don't know, Sonny. I'm not the client. We'll have to ask. <sighs> Well, at least the rain cleared up. So, Jenny, what do you think of your new house? The first floor is so amazing. I don't think I'll ever need to go upstairs. Or to the grocery store, even because I have all the watermelons I can eat in my garage. It's so sustainable and eco-friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a very good idea, Jenny. You do not need to go upstairs. I'm going to refer you to my cousin, Zachary. He wants to build a $1 million estate downtown, and he's looking for the right people. Don't worry, Jenny. We'll take care of that. Now, Melon, this time I'm choosing how the build looks. Sonny... <laughs> This is our ticket to the big leagues! Let's go! Hey, Zachary! I'm Sonny from Sonny and Melon Construction. We're here to help build your estate. That's fantastic. I have a $1 million budget for this property, but we're limited by the size of the land, and I don't want to build it anywhere else either. So, exactly how much of this land is yours? Just, uh, the plot with the two trees behind me. Bro! This is like nothing! So, so, just, just go with it, Sonny. Go with it, Sonny. Uh, we'll take his money and... And we'll be good. Yes, Zachary, I can build you a very nice skyscraper right here in this plot. No problem. That's magnificent. I'll be looking forward to seeing it once I return from my very important business trip at Stone Rock Business Insurance Bank Equity Varsity Limited International LLC. That won't be a problem, sir. We'll get right on it. Melon, I have an idea. It's going to be a little tricky to pull off, but I am the structural engineer after all. I should be able to figure this out. I believe in you, son. Uh, I'll let you do this stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go chill, like over here on this bench. Let's start with the bones of the structure. And this thing is going to be very, very narrow. But I should be able to make something pretty good here. Uh, Sonny, what about the trees? Like, the two trees in the middle? Don't worry, I'll handle it when the time's right. Sonny, is the time right yet? Almost, Melon. I just want to finish the edge work. Oh, uh, yeah, the time's right. Uh, why, Sonny? Sonny, what are you doing? I'm getting rid of these trees! This seems really dangerous, Sonny, for no reason. No, this is just basic demolition. Very basic. Okay, just a little more edge work. Sonny, that's absolutely brilliant! Structural integrity. I could see it from here. Well, thank you, melon chap. Just a little bit more work to do and we'll be ready for your interior design. Oh, I can't wait. This time, I'll replace all the toilets with plants and all the plants with toilets. Melon, why? 
Because, Sonny. Because. Now, Melon, Minecraft does not have marble, but it has granite. So what better than to do a granite floor for the lobby? Oh, yes, that is such a poor choice of material, but you do you, Sonny. What do you mean? This is quite rich, wealthy, affluent. Oh, quite, my dear boy. Mmm, whatever you say. I'm going to now construct the bathroom floor. It will be filled with toilets to the brim. Toilets everywhere. Toilets everywhere. Bro, why do you have an entire floor dedicated to toilet? The porcelain throne begs to be earned, to be used, to be flushed, Sonny. You are scaring me a lot. What is this? Why? It's the porcelain throne. You wouldn't understand. You are just a peon. You've literally trapped yourself in porcelain prison, bro. You're enthroned in toilets. It's like you're part of the Skibbity series. Yeah, you're right. Hold on. Let me make a path here and now it's perfect sonny i really hope that zachary is just as obsessed with toilets as you are it's awesome bro you can have like poop buddies that is just disturbing now sonny on the walkway in there must be a statue of the great steve and the beautiful alex why why must there be a statue because sonny it is true art the first minecraft player to ever exist a true historical figure and alex it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, whatever. It's magnificent. It's art. It's culture. I guess all of those things will be appreciated by Zach. <sighs> Anyways, let's just figure out what we're going to do at the top. Don't do it. You just don't understand art! And the final touch. I just really hope Melon didn't do anything stupid. Sonny, what have you done to my designs? Nothing, bro. All I did was set up the rooftop with a jacuzzi and a beautiful scenery. Sonny, the porcelain throne room is gone! Oh, yeah, that? <laughs> I had to remove those toilets. Well, at least you kept the rest of my design, bro. Oh, fine, I guess this is more traditional, and I guess she's more likely to like it. But I thought the toilet room, like, you know, maybe if you really like toilets, it would really blow them away, and then he'd give us even more money, but fine. Melon, here's the thing. I'm sure he would have loved your porcelain throne room. But the issue is just think about his plumbing bill. He's a millionaire now, but if he took over this building, he would have been a brokey. It would have been billions of dollars every month in toilet fees. I wonder where Zach is. He should be back by now. Well, let's just see. Don't push me. I uh, don't see him over there. Wait, why is Hank here? I think that's Hank. Bro, that can't be Hank. He has a diamond block in his hand. Oh, true. Yeah, Hank was a brokey. Who is there? I, I don't remember Zach dressing like that. Oh, Melon, I'm just admiring my handiwork. Look at this kitchen. It fits the skyscraper so beautifully. And the living room. It's perfect. You can watch TV and find Nemo all at the same time. Uh. Uh, Hank, what are you doing here? Oh, you two were talking to my nephew Zachary about constructing my new ultra-luxury skyscraper mansion, and I came to check it out. W what are you talking about, Hank? Zach bought the building, not you. Zachary put one million down for the deposit, but I'm actually going to pay one billion dollars for the delivered product. What do you mean, a billion? Well, I am actually the trillionaire owner of Stone Rock Business Insurance Bank Equity Varsity Limited International LLC, and I was merely pretending to be a homeless brokey to test and see how hard working you two truly are. And you've definitely passed my criterion. Well, thank you, Hank. Melon, did you hear that? He's a trillionaire, and he thinks that our construction handiwork is some of the best he's ever seen. Oh, that's so awesome! Now, if you constructed a big porcelain throne room, I'll be happy to give you one billion dollars on the spot. Sonny? Yeah? Why did you get rid of the room? How was I supposed to know? Make sure you guys subscribe to Sonny and Melon for one billion diamonds in Minecraft. And click Click the next video on screen right now.